Heavy C, this is Aaron, Mitha Alam Aaron. Today I'm finishing the teas in my collection and I'll just get started right here. Um, first up, I've got some Tokyo Blade. Really great band, um, heavy metal band from uh, the 80s. And this is a sealed copy, of course. Um, just got it in that collection. I already had another copy, but I sent that off to somebody. Really good record. And uh, next up, I've got some Tool. Another really good band, this is Undertow. Had the hit Sober on it. Um, really great drummer, singer, uh, very um, kind of progressive metal. Most people know Tool pretty well, but that's Undertow there. And then I've got some Opiate, an EP by them, really good. There's the tracks on there. And uh, actually the uh, singer and drummer were in a uh, kind of a, not a comedy band, but um, sort of like that back in the 80s called uh, Green Jelly. They were called Green Jelly, but they had to change the name to Green Jelly, and uh, it's actually the two, two of the members of Tool. But this is um, Opiate. And then I got this here, this is a uh, called Tales from the Dark Side. And this is a live, it's um, all tracks live taken from Sober Import CD single. It's taken from a couple different things. There's the track list. Sounds really good, killer sounding record. And um, it's on this blue vinyl. Really cool looking vinyl there. That's a pretty good one there, actually. And then this here is a, um, a trade I just did with uh, Todd Guy, the Thrashing Zombie. Really great guy. Um, I saw this on his channel. He just picked it up, and uh, he, he liked it, but it wasn't one of his favorites. So I traded a, it was a grill of mine, and um, so I traded one of his grills for this grill of mine. The one I traded him was a really good record too. I really like that one. But this, I've been looking for this record for 30 years. I have it on CD and cassette, but I've been looking for the vinyl for over 30 years. So I was really happy to get it. And it's a great record. This is Tora Tora, The Surprise Attack. One of my favorite records. And if I had to, uh, to kind of describe what they sound like, they're kind of like um, maybe a little bit heavier version of Tesla. They have a couple like ballad type stuff, but they're kind of in the Tesla vein where they're not like... Uh, real um, pop sounding glam metal. They're more of the bluesy, really bluesy. Then the singer is kind of similar to Jeff Keith from Tesla. Uh, really, really good album. I love this thing. You know, uh, Love's a Bitch and Guilty and She's Good, She's Bad. I mean, I love that song. Every song, Walking Shoes, Riverside Drive, Phantom Rider. Great, great record here. Thank you, Todd. I was really happy to get that. I really appreciate you trading that to me. And then um, next up, I got my favorite reggae artist. This is Peter Tosh with Legalize It. My favorite reggae record. I love this all the way through. He was a member of the Wailers, you know, Bob Marley and the Wailers. And uh, he was the guitarist. He has that really distinct um, kind of scratchy guitar sound, what they call it reggae guitar. But that's Peter Tosh. And he's also a great singer, really good songwriter. The, the title song is iconic, but every song on this is good. You know, uh, this, it's a great record. No Sympathy, Why Do I Cry, Brand New Second Hand, really great record. I love that record. And then I've also got uh, Mama Africa from Peter Tosh, another really good one. I really like Peter Tosh a lot. He's a great artist. He was. He was actually murdered in his home in Jamaica in the, in the 80s, a home, in a home invasion. So that was that was really sad. And then um, there's no, no uh, nuclear war, Holocaust, Peter Tosh. Love these Peter Tosh records. And I've got one more. This is um, Equal Rights. And then next up, I've got a punk band. It's called Total Chaos with the early years, 1989 to 1993. And this is a really good punk record. I'm really liking punk lately. For about five or ten years, I've been getting into it a lot more. Really good stuff here. And uh, next up, I got kind of an underrated pop rock band. I really like them, actually. They're great musicians. Um, this is Toto with Hold the Line. Um, they're self-titled with Hold the Line. is a big single from this. Really great song. Really good record all the way through. This is a good album. And they're a really underrated uh, band. Um, Steve Lukather is a great guitarist. And they got, you know, the Pacaro Brothers. They're, they're killer, killer musicians. And then this here is um, Hydra, another really good record by them. This is a little uh, kind of really 
Proggy record. If you like Prog, you'd really like this. Good record here. This might be my favorite Toto record, actually. I really like this one. It's got 99 on it. That's a really good song. The title song is really good. You know, it's a great record. Good stuff. Then I've got some Turn Back. Another really good Toto record. It's the third record. There's the label. Custom label there. This is a, you know, they're all good records here. Good band. And then the real popular one, uh, popular one, uh, Toto 4. Of course, they had Africa and Rosanna. But this whole record's pretty good. Solid record. And then I've got some uh, Isolation. It's my last Toto record. This is a little later on, but it's a, this is a good record too. Kind of rocking. A little keyboardy at times, but the, the rocking stuff's really good on here. Really good. There's a custom inner there. And next up, I got some Pete Townsend with Empty Glass. Of course, he was the uh, guitarist from The Who. Good record here. I like his solo stuff. That's the only one I have of him, though. I'm just had the song uh, "Let My Love Open the Door." Big hit off this. And here's a really good band. This is Traffic with their self-titled debut. Really good record. Steve Winwood and uh, and company. Really good band here. I like Traffic. And this has a uh, all the lyrics and a you know booklet in here that's attached to the inside of the record. Really good record here, feeling all right. And there's the label. And then I've got some Mr. Fantasy. Another really good record. And here's the label on that one. This is a pretty old one here, United Artists. Yeah, they're good, they're good. Dear Mr. Fantasy, really good song. Paper Sun, good record. And I've got some Last Exit. My dad really got me into traffic. He's always liked them a lot. So I've heard, I've heard them since I was a kid. There's the label on that one. They're all good. Medicated Goo is on this. I, I love that song. Really good album. And then uh, John Barleycorn Must Die. My dad's favorite of theirs. I like this one too. This, and this is just a, almost the greatest hits. Glad, Freedom Rider, Empty Pages. Really great stuff. And it's a uh, gatefold here, the band. And there's the label there. Then here's my favorite traffic record. This is the Low Spark of High Hill Boys. I really like how they did the cut corners for two records in a row here. They did that. Kind of interesting. And these are almost EP length. I mean, there, there's only like five songs on these next two records. But they're all really, oh, six songs on this. You know, it's got Light It Up or Leave Me Alone, Rock and Roll Stew, those are great. And the title song is really good. Really good record here. And then this one here, uh, Shoot Out of the Fantasy Factory, really good record as well. I really love this one as well. Really good stuff. Those are my two favorite traffic records, actually. These two with the odd covers. And then I've got some, uh, this live album, uh, Traffic on the Road. It's a gatefold, but it's only a single record. Which is odd at the time. That time everyone's putting out double records, and this has like four songs on it, but they're all really long, jammed out songs. It's got a uh, little spark of High Hill Boys or 15 minutes on it. Uh, shoot out of the Fantasy Factory. Sometimes I feel so uninspired, and Light Up or Leave Me Alone. And you know, look at the length of the songs. There's four, only four songs, but they're really long. Really good live record. They just jam out on that pretty good. And then uh, Traffic uh, When the Eagle Flies. A little later. I don't know this record as well as the others, but it's, it's decent. Custom label there. And then I've got The Best of Traffic. Another really good record here. There's the track list and the label. And next up, I've got this heavy metal band who I haven't had, I haven't had a chance to listen to them yet. Um, I just got a big record collection, so I'm trying to work through and listen to them all. This is Trance with Breakout. So I'll have to listen, give us a spin and see how it sounds. Some 80s metal. And then I also got Power Infusion. So we'll see what these sound like here. I believe it's a German band maybe. 
I think these are German releases. Yeah, these are German imports, so. And then next up I got uh, Transplants. This is a newer, uh, kind of a modern band. It's a, so kind of a super group. It's a member of Operation Ivy and Rancid. Those two bands are one of the members. And the drummer from Blink-182. I'm not a big fan of them, but I like, but he's a good drummer. And it's a pretty good record. It's kind of like a, uh, a mixture of punk and hip hop and rock and pop and just a big mixture of different things. Pretty good. And then we got some, uh, from that super group to a uh, major super group here, Traveling Wilburys. Amazing lineup, you know, you got George Harrison and Roy Orbison, Tom Petty, Jeff Lynn, and Bob Dylan. Amazing artist, this is a great record. Really happy to have this one. Got some labels there. And yeah, it's, you know, handled with care. End of the line, really good stuff. And then here I got the Pat Travers band with Heat in the Street. I like some Pat Travers. Really good uh, guitarist. Good record here on Polydor. And then I've got Go For What You Know, Pat Travers band live. Good live record here. Really rocking, killer stuff. And I've got some uh, Crash and Burn. Tommy Aldridge up here on the drums. He's been in a lot of bands. Great drummer. Really good record. And my last Pat Travers is Radioactive. Pretty good record too. I like the others better, but this is decent. And then next up I've got a really great band, kind of the originators of the glam metal, I mean just the glam rock. And uh, this is T-Rex, but they were known as Tyrannosaurus Rex first, and this is uh, Agadinmar's Lore by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this is actually not very rock, it's more of a folk record, but it's really good. It's just, you know, it's a really folk, acoustic-y. Um, hadn't quite, not quite what they became later. This is really different, but it's really good. Really good record. And then this is my favorite by them by far. This is Electric Warrior, the great classic record. Amazing, amazing all the way through. And it's got Jeepster and Mambo Sun and the uh, you know, get it on, bang a gong. This is a really killer sound and repress. I also have a uh, an original one, but it was beat up, so I got the repress because it, it just sounds amazing. Great record. And then I've got some, uh, the Slider. I'm a big T-Rex fan. I like them. Really good band. Two-member band. Kind of, the Black Keys kind of remind me of them a little. Kind of a similar sound and a two-member band. And but this one had, I think this one had Buick McCain on it. Yeah, Buick McCain, which Guns N' Roses later did on um, the Spaghetti Incident. Then I've got some uh, Tank. Another good one. And there's the inside there. And the same label there, the Reprise label. And I got some T-Rex to see, the best of T-Rex, 1970 to 1973. Really good stuff. There's the tracks there. Good stuff. And this the Warner Brother label. And my last T-Rex is a uh, BBC FM broadcast of Top Gear Sessions, 69 to 71. This is really good. Really good for a bootleg type. There's the gatefold there. And uh, then the, uh, the labels have one of the members on each of the labels there. Kind of cool. And then this here's a prog band. This is called Trillion. Really good prog music. Really cool cover too. Prog from the 70s. Pretty good stuff there. Trillion. And then this is a Canadian hard rock band called Trooper with Knock'em Dead Kid. Pretty good uh, Canadian band. I wouldn't put them in my top 10 Canadian bands, but they're good. I like a lot of Canadian artists though. So. And then there's a self-titled Trooper. Pretty good band. And next up, I got some Robin Trower, another great artist. I love Robin Trower. This is Bridge of Size. Really killer record. This this blows me away when I listen to this record. Killer guitar work, just killer songs. Really good stuff there. And then I got some uh, 
Long Misty Days. Robin Trower, another really good record. And some In City Dreams. There's the label there. And Beyond the Mist. Live album. Really good stuff. And if I can get this out. There's the label on this one. And here's a really great metal band. Um, I only have one album and a 12 inch single. This is a TT Quick with Medal of Honor. Great record. I love this album. Killer stuff. Very underrated. They didn't get very big, but this is a, such a good metal record. It's not thrash. It's not glam. It's like, you know, just standard metal. Good stuff. And then I have the uh, 12 inch single of Glad All Over. The Dave Clark 5 song that's actually on that record as well. And up next, I got the tubes with Outside, Inside. Pretty good record. And uh, it's kind of cool. The uh, the front has a, you know, you can see the label without taking it out. It's only on the front. And one of my favorite bands of all time is the Twisted Sister with Under the Blade. My favorite Twisted Sister record. I love this. Heavy, catchy, killer, killer. Great guitar, killer album. You know, it's got Shoot 'em Down and the title song and Destroyer and you know, here's the uh the rem the uh, repress of it which they remix. I actually prefer the remix of this, it's really good. And it has one of their earliest songs, I'll Never Grow Up Now, which actually predates Under the Blade. It was a really early Twisted Sister song. They played for years before their first album. Great New York band, Long Island, killer stuff. This is one of the best metal records ever made, in my opinion. I love this record. Then I got a 12-inch uh, single of I Am, I'm Me, and it's also got Tear It Loose, Destroyer, and It's Only Rock and Roll from the Marquee Club, which are great recordings. Really killer. And another absolutely killer record, uh, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Love this record. The title song is amazing, and the, you know, the price, and just every song is killer on this. Great stuff. The kids are back, knife in the back, you know, the power and the glory great metal they were so good and then i've got this is uh this is my uh, my most prized twisted sister record maybe this is a twisted sister live in the marquee 1983 double live record and there's the track list it's just amazing amazing they were so good live uh you never heard anything like twisted sister live they're just d snyder and his banter is just crazy and it's on this red vinyl and this was a uh Indie store exclusive I found um, when I was uh, on vacationing. Really cool. And um, if, you have, if you've ever heard, the, uh, they put an album out called Big Hits and Nasty Cuts. And uh, the Nasty Cuts part was the second side of the tape or whatever. And it had uh, live performances from this concert. And this is the entire performance. So it's, it's just killer stuff. And then, of course, we got some Stay Hungry. This is my old original copy from back in the 80s. It's a little beat up. But, you know, it's a great, you know, you can't beat um, Burning Hell and Horror Terria, you know, Captain Howdy, Street Justice, just amazing, SMF. Um, so that's a little beat up. So when this came out, I had to buy it, and this sounds amazing. It's the uh, MoFi version of Stay Hungry. Killer, killer stuff. It just brings it to life. It's really killer. I love this a great record. It's got the lyrics inside here. And then, you know, I won't take it all out. It's a MoFi, but I'll just, there's the... But it sounds amazing. I'm glad I got a copy. I think only 3,000 were made. Killer stuff. And then we got some Come Out and Play. Another, uh, I really like this record. It gets trashed a lot for uh, Leader of the Pack. But actually, they've been playing Leader of the Pack since before their first record. It was on that live record from way back. So, I mean, it's nothing that has got to fold up. And, you know, there's some really good deep cuts on this. It's, you know, I believe in rock and roll. Uh, Killer Be Killed. Great song. Looking out for number one. You know, you want what we got. I don't. I don't think there's a bad twist of the record. And then I've got Love Is for Suckers, another really underrated one. You know, Wake Up the Sleeping Giant. It's just a monster song. I love that. Um, you know, I'm so hot for you and me and the boys. And you know, I love this album too. They're all good. And then next up, I got a really good uh, British heavy metal band, Tags of Pantang with Wild Cat. Really love this album. Really good, really good band. Um, killer musicians. 
great stuff. Great heavy metal, hard rock heavy metal, whatever you want to call it. It's the, uh, the wave of British heavy metal, whatever they call that. Killer stuff. And then I've got, this is my favorite record I have by them. It's a Spellbound. I love this one. And uh, great stuff. John, it's actually got John Sykes from Blue Murder, White Snake, Thin Lizzy, Tigers of Panting. This album just kicks ass. Really killer stuff. Love this record. And then I just recently got The Cage, which I haven't actually listened to yet, but I love those other two, so I'm sure I'll love those too. Yeah, good stuff. Love Tigers of Pantang. And then I got some, uh, from all this stuff to Bonnie Tyler, it's a heartache. <laughs> Pretty good, you know, just good singers, I mean, good songs on this, I guess. Pretty good stuff. And my last one. This is a, uh, another British heavy metal band called Tyson Dog, which I just got this one too. It's really got to listen to it. I really like this record. Good stuff. There's the label there. Pretty cool. So there goes my tees. Be going for the U's next. Um, got some really good stuff in the U's. There's some really good bands there. So all right, everybody. Um, thanks for watching, and everyone keep on rocking.